Now, what I'd like to do is kind of go over a little bit of review to make sure, and it's very important that we have everybody on the same page. Daniel, you have a question? Nope. Okay. I want to make sure everybody's on the page, same page because when we start going over these, I want everybody to make sure they exactly understand what we are doing. Okay? Please, guys, there's a time to be doing things and there's a time not to be doing things. As I'm going over this, please do not be doing the things you know you do not want you to be doing. So, going back to information we know. All right. If you're going to solve an equation, um, hopefully everybody at this point would know, hey, what are we going to do to solve for x? And you can simply just say, ooh, ooh. I'll just pick on Amy. Amy, what would I do to solve for x? Solve for x. Yep. Um, you're going to subtract 5, right? Because if you look at your variable, your variable is being added by 5. Okay. Um, so therefore, you're going to have to undo adding by 5, which would be subtracting by 5. So you apply what we call the inverse operation. So x is going to equal 12. Okay. Now, um, Tiffany, you're going to have to put that away, whatever that is. So now, if we have something else, um, now if we, uh, so you guys should be familiar. When we did solve an equations, we had adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Um, hopefully, you guys are familiar with using the inverse operations with that, right? So now the next thing is, well, what if I had x squared equals 17? So what is the inverse operation of x squared? The square root, all right? So when we're taking in the square root, now there's a couple things to note. The square root, we don't write the 2 in there, but it really is always there. We just, it's just our common thing, so we don't have to write it in there. But what the square root represents is what number multiplied by itself. Now, obviously, Nick, if you can't sit there and stay and pay attention with this, then we'll have to move. But what this says is what number multiplied by itself? Well, what does x squared represent? x squared represents x times x. So the square root of x squared, which is x times x, is just going to equal x. right? Now, I can't take the square root of 17. All right, So I'm just going to leave that as x equals the square root of 17. But what I want you guys to understand is when we have when we're taking the square root, the square root says what number multiplied by itself. So we want to look at taking the square root of pairs of numbers. Okay, That's why the prime factorization is helpful for us. 